Yes, yes. Just saving everybody in Arkham. Wait, what's that? Oh my god! Doc! Doc! Where are you? Batman? Huh. I think... I think I'm in the wrong... I'm in the wrong timeline. Huh. This is heavy. Huh. I think I need a... Uh, uh, I think it's time for a crazy toy review. Hey everyone, Matt here. In today's review, we're going to be checking out the Back to the Future Marty McFly MMS 257 Hot Toys. So as you can see, we got some amazing artwork in the front right here. We have the DeLorean. We got the fire going down the road. We have the out of time license plate on the end. Marty McFly, one six scale collectible. On the side, we have, you know, your generic Marty McFly warding, and we got in the back all the details from Hot Toys. Marty McFly, you got your warnings right here, another Back to the Future, Clock Tower, if you can see it right here, Clock Tower. And on the side, you got another Marty McFly writings. So, this case right here, it's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. Let's see what we got in here. So we'll do the official Hot Toys. Pop the box open. So on the inside, you can see we got some more. We got the, the DeLorean, 88 miles per hour right here. We also have Marty McFly. Then we got the sculptors and all the creators right here. So we're gonna take this off. And there it is. There is the bad boy. Look at all those accessories you get too. Let's go ahead and pop this out. So, starting off, you can see we have the backpack, which he wears in the very beginning of Back to the Future Part 1, where he's taking off on a skateboard. Has this on his back. Really nice detail. All the zippers work too on this, so if you want to put anything in there, you can just do it. Zip it up. Unzip this. Everything works really good detail You get the um, The infamous camera you also get this which has really nice detail it doesn't have the uh, JVC logos and everything due to copyright, but you can always get those through third parties on eBay Other than that really good camera really good sculpt really like that You also get interchangeable palms you got your relaxed palm you got your your clenched palm, another relaxed palm. You got a holding palm. And right here you have. Let's take this out. A headphones and a tape player, cassette player, which is he was always wearing too. Really good detail. You can actually almost see in there. There's actually a, let's see if we get this to focus. There's a tape player in there. It's really nice, nicely sculpted. You also get a little flyer, save the clock tower flyer, which is really nice to you. Save the clock tower, clock tower struck by lightning. And on the back, you got Infamous, what she wrote, I love you, 555-4823 to Marty, back when they were by the clock tower. You also get Marty McFly skateboard, really nicely detailed, weathering, you can see a little weathering on the, the wheels, really, really well done. What else do we have here? You get Marty McFly's glasses too. We'll get into that. They don't really, they're not really supposed to sit on his head, on his face, but you're supposed to put them on top of his head. Let's try to get this to focus. Really good details on those too. Look at that. Look at that mirror reflection. Really nice. Really nice. Loving it. Okay, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy out of the box. Okay, 
You also get your generic Hot Toy Stand, which has Back to the Future logo on there. You got Marty McFly on front, and you got, this one's actually a little bit different this time. The stand, you actually hook onto his waist instead of sitting on his crotch. So, it's kind of nice. It doesn't let the clothes get so worn down. Okay, so here's the figure. Comes with his, you know, his infamous orange jacket. You got really nice detailed. You got pins right here. You got a guitar, a guitar pick. You got his suspenders, his shirt, and he even has his red shirt underneath there. Shoes. Really nicely done shoes, too. Except they are missing the logos, but that's alright. We everything's everything to do with copyright. Really nicely head sculpt too. Look at this head sculpt. Really nicely done. Captures Michael J. Fox in a sense. Really nicely done. Really loving it. Really nicely eyes. Try to get that to focus. Come to focus. Okay. There you go. Really nicely done. Clothes are tailored nicely and perfect. Overall, this figure is pretty good. He does have articulation in his head. Goes full 360 around. Goes up and down, up and down. There's a little bit of a neck, neck uh, swivel. You got your rotation out, both in and out. You got double jointed wrists both double jointed you got swivels at the hands at the feet a little bit of articulation in the feet not that much it swivels but you can't really do much with it you got double jointed legs both of them can double joint you got waist articulation a little bit of an ab crunch which is really nice so overall this figure is decent. Really nicely detailed though. Now let's go ahead and get into the poses. Like unbelievable what you can do. There's the amount of possibilities you can think of doing with this figure. You got the camera, you got the skateboard, you got I mean you can do anything. Don't forget to drop a like on this video, subscribe if you want to see more content, it really helps guys, and thanks for watching my review on the Hot Toys Back to the Future, Marty McFly, and we'll see you next time.